Hello everybody. This is Glenda with Raylands and Friends. It has been so hot. It's been in the 90s consistently. Well, up into the 90s for days. So I wait until evening to come out here. I didn't want to just stay in the in the office slash craft room. Again, I, I don't mind doing things in there. I like doing things in there, but it's like sometimes you just need to get out. I probably have gone outside except it's dusk and that's when the mosquitoes come out. <laughs> I don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> they bite. They suck your blood. It is, it's a little after eight probably and it's, it's finally cooling down. Joe took a couple of the storm windows off on the porch here so that air could go through but earlier in the evening it was still very hot air going through. <laughs> but it's nice now. It's, uh, it's probably low 80s but compared to I mean when you come out in a sauna earlier in the day and then you come out and it's just kind of like this then low 80s feels good <laughs> it's like the 40s feel good when you have a freezing winter <laughs> so that's the Midwest that is this whole area of the Midwest the weather is just unpredictable. I think there's a lot of places where the weather is unpredictable. It's just unpredictable in different ways. These two robins, they love they love playing around here. And they just chase each other and <laughs> cute. So what is there to talk about tonight? Not really a whole lot. Joe took those two little dishes that I made. That yellow one that I had in the picture, that was my very first attempt, and it couldn't, I didn't seem to be getting it very round, so I finally just decided, okay, I'm going to make this into a rectangle, I'm going to squeeze the corners. So I did, but then when I went to put it in the, in the toaster oven, I bumped the temperature control, <laughs> evidently, and I thought I turned it back down, but I didn't have my glasses on at the time, and it was up around 300 degrees rather than like 225 and it's it didn't burn it but it scorched it so <laughs> I tried to paint it yellow but I don't know that paint it needs like a light coat and then a heavier coat or something and my brush strokes just wanted to glide on it I think I should have probably sanded it with some big grit to sandpaper just to rough it up a little because it was a denser clay and the other two I I kind of had fun with those the brown and blue one I think came out the best the the other one with the pink and the blue I don't know I'm not disappointed in it I just it was my first one with the pie crust pattern and then the but the the brown and blue one I think I got it a little um, tighter pie crust pattern or a little you know more defined but I think they both look pretty good. I think they're both kind of cute. Joe's glossing them right now, or has them. He's sprayed them. He's waiting for them to dry. So we'll see. I think they'll be pretty cute. But I like working with those, and I I like to. I had mentioned I I'd found out about these little trinket plates, trinket dishes, and I think golly, that's something I can do. I think I need to make, you know, find all different patterns to do with them. I know there's a lot of different styles. And I don't know, maybe maybe I should use some cookie cutters for molds or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that that's what I want. Maybe I just hope that those new plants that Joe planted come up because he's worked so hard on that and he what he did was he put some potting soil and in, in there when he planted them. he planted them in the in the 
in the ground, but he put potting soil in there to kind of give him a boost. And he usually gets like, you know, like a miracle grow. Not sponsored, but he usually likes to get miracle grow. I'm looking out right now, and I'm seeing our hostas, the ones that we do see from here, there's two of them, but they are coming up taller yet. So hopefully the slugs and the bunnies will leave them alone. <laughs> so that I think I need some binoculars if I'm truly going to be a bird watcher. I'm not kidding. I always thought, you know, I you know I'd only seen a certain amount of birds. I just didn't think about seeing that many birds, and I, it just wasn't the first thing in my head. But I've slowed down in life, and now. I'm finding out that there are a lot of birds and that you can actually see. But I had I don't remember ever seeing an Oriole around here, but I did check and it looked exactly like an Oriole. So it must have been. But I remember here a few years ago we were seeing some birds that don't usually come through this way when they migrate. So And I know now why meadow larks aren't that easy to see, because they're very small. If they can sit on a stem of wheat like that, <laughs> they're very small and very light. I know there's different types, but, and they're green, brown and green from the pictures I found that I put on my video last, oh, last week. There's that robin again. Oh, I wish I could. I've shown you the robin several times, but I just like watching it because they're playful. They like to play and they like to just hop around. And, and those little orange breasts, they just kind of, you can't miss them. Well, he found his, his mate again. He's chasing. I watched Lori's, uh, a little, she had a little one today, Lori. Lori's crochet and um, she was outside and her dogs were being teased by a squirrel. It was it, it go, was going between these two trees and just teasing the heck out of her dogs. <laughs> I have seen squirrels be little teasers. I mean they tease each other. They're little Stinkers of rodents, but you love to see them. I absolutely love to watch them around here when I can catch them, when I can actually see them. But when Joe put those, puts those co uh, cobs of corn out there, if if I'd get out there in the morning, but he gets out there when he does that a lot of times, he gets some good footage of them. And then there was that one time when he got the footage of the rabbits. I just, I was, I am just too, I don't know. He's able to sneak up on things much better than I am. There's a sound I love. That's the sound I grew up with. Hear him? Crickets are starting to chirp. That's the sound I used to go to sleep to. We have too many things on, though, these days. <laughs> it's our fault. I remember we'd go camping, we'd take the kids camping. Uh, we used to go down by Sabetha, Kansas, a little resort thing down there. It's closed now as far as I know. I just used to love to listen to the crickets when I was going to sleep. Oh, oh no, that was my lights. I thought I saw a lightning bug. <laughs> it was my blinking lights. Those have been up there for, 
I think two years now. <laughs> and we just never took them down. Put them up for Christmas and then just never took them down. And I'm kind of used to them now. I kind of like them. <laughs> I don't think I've got them in the picture right now. There they are. They just kind of put off a nice little, nice little blink. <laughs> Makes it a little colorful. I will probably be doing a live Wednesday afternoon, 4 o'clock Central Daylight Time. That's 5 o'clock on the East Coast. And Mountain Time, it would be 3 and it would be 2 in the Pacific, on Pacific Time. So, I give that information because I've had some people get a little confused about it. And I get confused a lot of times. I've just got myself trained in the last week or so. Which is which and where is where the time is what, you know. So, beyond that, I just know it's tomorrow in Australia. <laughs> that's, that's about it. <laughs> so... I'm sure Joe has nodded off in there by now. He takes his nap in his chair before he goes to bed. <laughs> Please do subscribe and tell me if you got anything at all out of this whole thing other than that I like crickets and robins. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, click that notification bell, and be back at four my time. Figure it out for your time, I've already told you. And we will see you then. And I will be doing stream, be on StreamYard link to YouTube, so that means that I can have people come up into the conversation with me um, if you also have that that capability. I mean, it doesn't have to be stream yard I don't think but you know if you I'll, I'd give a link and then if you've got that if you can you can ch click on that link and down below I will just give you a little nudge and right up into the video you'll come so Dora did that one day um, yarny zebra and stuff <laughs> she does love zebra <laughs> I love her zebra mask You'll have to go give her a check if you haven't already. And Lori's crochet. They're both good. We'll see you at four. Take care. Behave yourselves. Love you all. Good night.